I want to do a video today about something I've sort of discussed in the past but I want to go into a little bit more detail and that is um, for those of you who want to be a wildlife biologist but you're still in high school or in middle school or in university I want to go through kind of step by step what you can do in school to increase your chances of getting a job outside of school so the biggest things I would say I'm gonna start like in probably the youngest, I don't think I've talked to anyone like in elementary school. For those of you who are in middle school or high school, um, the best things you can do to increase your, increase your chances of getting into a good school, getting that job in wildlife biology would be to take as many AP classes as you can. Um, I took a lot of AP classes, advanced placement classes, and that actually helped me get my degree earlier and it saved me some money in university, especially if you can do those like AP biology classes if your school offers it. Um, those would give you a really big step up. Another option is to take col uh, college courses if you have like a community college near you. Sometimes your high school will offer like a reciprocal program where you can like take classes while also going to high school. Um, well, I'd only recommend that if you think you have the time and the ability to commit to something like that right now. Um, the other recommendation I have is to start getting in your volunteer work or work experience right away and that's like at the youngest age you can start working basically if you know it's not going to affect your schoolwork too much. Um, I started working when I was 15 I think I was um, at just a restaurant but like that work experience like learning those job related skills really helped me eventually get a job later on down the line. Environmental wildlife related job, you know, maybe at the zoo as like an interpreter at the zoo or something like that would be really great. Um, that said though, those can be really hard to get, especially if you're in high school. So any, any job you can get is gonna give you good at work experience. Um, as well, I'd recommend finding somewhere to volunteer at that's somewhat related to the type of job that you wanna do. So that helps you kinda see what the job is like and see if you even would like it. Volunteering at a local like wildlife shelter, a lot of places have like marine mammal rescue shelters. Even like the local humane society could be useful if one day you're looking to go more into like the veterinary side of things. Volunteering at local like parks and rec department if they need people to help like count birds. There's like Christmas bird counts. Those ones I would really recommend is like doing any sort of like bird watching thing because right now in wildlife biology, if you know your birds, you can get a lot of jobs because there's really a lot of jobs in like avian biology. So starting to get out there, learning your birds right now, learning your wildlife identification skills. As well, I would recommend going to like guided nature walks. You can look them up in your city. A lot of times they'll just be offered by like the Parks and Rec Department or like the Audubon Society or some sort of nonprofit related to wildlife or environmental type stuff. So if you start going to those guided walks now, you start learning your birds, your animals. Um, if you take a tracking workshop, if you um, just start getting out in nature and hiking and backpacking and starting to learn your way around nature, that's a really good way of like starting to um, kind of get used to what it would be like to be a wildlife biologist. I know in my very first interview, they asked me, what is your field experience? Like, are you comfortable being outside for long periods of time? So if I had never done that, I wouldn't know how to answer that question. So you don't need to have a job to do that. You can get out right now, start observing wildlife in their natural habitat right now. Um, I would also recommend for high school kids or anyone really is reading books about wildlife biology. There's so many good books that um, I can recommend. I would recommend watching my deep ecology video. I'll link to it above. I might have some good book recommendations throughout that video. If you just go to your local library and search wildlife biology or browse the environmental section, there's so many good books to read to start like thinking about what your attitudes are towards wildlife and developing that kind of knowledge ahead of time. If your school, high school, offers any sort of like um, biology classes as electives, um, I would recommend doing that. One of the biggest things you can do is pick a good school to go to um, when you're in high school. So when you start applying for your universities or your colleges, make sure you focus on something that's affordable, like really, really make sure it's affordable because a lot of wildlife jobs do not pay well out of school 
So do not go somewhere expensive where you're gonna have $100,000 of student loans. That's one of the most important things. Like I would pick a cheap school that just has a basic ecology program any day over like a $50,000 a year school that has a great wildlife program because you do not need to have like the best school to get a wildlife job. Go to something affordable, something that's near you or in a convenient space where you can get like cheap housing. Um, that would be my best choice for schools as well. Um, some of the well-known ones, if you just could go anywhere in um, the United States, there's uh, Colorado State, Fort Collins has a really great wildlife program. University of Montana has a really great wildlife program. I went to University of California in San Diego and their ecology program is pretty good. UC Davis has a really good um, like animal biology program. Theirs is a little bit more of a focus on like vet med and agricultural type stuff, but if that's what you're going into, I would look at there. And I also recommend if you are interested in a school, looking at what kind of professors are at that school and looking at the labs to see if there is any sort of like grad graduate student research that you're interested in that has to do with wildlife biology. The way you can do that is you can Google search like University of California, San Diego, um, ecology labs. And then usually some professors lab pages will come up. You can just like click through those and uh, see if you see something interesting. Um, the reason why I recommend that is even if you're going into undergrad, um, there are opportunities to work with those labs. So, okay, now I'm gonna switch to you are in university and you're trying to get the best shot you can at getting a wildlife job. So the best things you can do in university are to um, reach out to the, your professors. So if you talk to your professors in their office hours, after class, and just like reiterate your interest in wildlife biology and ask them to let you know if any sort of wildlife internships come up, um, volunteer positions come up, or if you know that they have a research lab that does some really cool, interesting research, ask if you can volunteer to work with a grad student to help them with their research. So this can be extremely valuable to you and the graduate student. So when you are helping out with the graduate student's work, you're seeing hands-on how wildlife ecology and biology works. You might even be lucky enough to get an internship or a volunteer program where you're actually going out into the field with these grad students or professors and just catching on and getting as much information from them as you can. So um, that could involve so many different things. There's some grad students who travel internationally um, with their graduate student work. So there's opportunities for you to come with them. Um, I know I, a few people in my lab went to the Palmyra Atoll, which is like the furthest landmass, I think from like any large landmass. And it was like this tiny, tiny little island in the middle of the Pacific. And they were studying coral reef ecology and shark ecology and how sharks work within undisturbed landscapes. So like, that's so cool. There is a huge opportunity that not a lot of people take advantage of. Um, I know it can be difficult, especially for those of us who actually have to work while they're in university. So I'm one of those people. I had to work my way through university. Um, so I didn't have a lot of time to do volunteer work, but I really just tried to put that in anywhere I could and make time for it because it's so important. Like more important than your grades, I would say, is to get that experience. Um, that said though, if you know that you're gonna be going to graduate school, you really need to get on top of your grades. You need to get really, really good grades to get into graduate school. And that was one mistake I made is I focused way too much on work and not my grades. And I ended up not getting into graduate school because my GPA was only like a 3.1 or something like that. So I kind of lost that ability to go to graduate school because I was so focused on doing that work experience. But um, it was, it kind of ended up good because I got so much work experience that I could get a job right away out of school. So it didn't hurt me too much, but just kind of think about where you want to be going. If you're going to be wanting to go more into research or species specific types research where you're really delving into one species type, I highly recommend looking at grad school as an option. If you're looking more into getting into industry and, um, you know, like working more of a job that I work, uh, where you're consulting or you're working for the government, um, a lot of times you won't need to go to grad school or you'll only need a master's and not a PhD, but that's so specific on your region. I know here in Alberta and British Columbia, you don't have to go to grad school but it will help you get a job. Um, if you're in the US in a really competitive city, usually you gotta have a grad degree to really compete. So it's really hard to say without knowing exactly where you are, but um, just doing that research ahead of time so you have a, a plan and a path 
forward. Um, other recommendations I have uh, while you are in university is to try to get at least one year of internship experience. The worst thing you can do with a wildlife biology degree is to have no experience when you graduate. You ple like, please get experience. All the people I know in university who got that experience, internships, they have jobs. The people I know who didn't get that experience are really struggling. And that's mainly because internships want to hire university students. So once you're graduated from university, you're generally just looking at entry level wildlife biologist positions. And you'll see that entry level wildlife biologist positions often require up to three years of experience just starting off. So where else are you going to get that experience if it's not in university? and when you actually are eligible for internship programs. Make sure you have good relationships with your professors. I kind of already discussed this, but like going into office hours, like working with their labs, like just getting a list of maybe like two to three professors where you could ask them for recommendation letters once the time comes around. So those recommendation letters will help for applying to grad school or using them as references for your first job. So I hope those recommendations help and um, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more about wildlife biology. Leave a comment below if you have any other questions about getting a job, um, what you should do if you're in high school or university, and thanks for watching.